Hey, Stevie Nunn here at Burnison Auto Wrecking doing the junkyard crawl in Burnison, Massachusetts with a 1962 Chevy C60 Apache. Now, a lot of folks say the Chevy 409 and 348 engines were born to be truck engines. Well, it's true and it's not. Um, they could be had in trucks as big as this, but they were also, of course, used in Impalas and Biscaynes and Bel Airs. The Beach Boys sang about them. She's real fine, my 409. Well, this is a 1965 or 6 edition of Fleet Owner magazine right here. And inside is a piece on the all-new Chevy uh, truck. And again, we see here a Series T800 with the 409 gas engine right there. Now, the truck 409 is buildable for hot rod automotive use. The only thing, it does have some deep scallops at the top of the cylinder bores that make it harder to get over 10 to 1 compression. But again, 409s were absolutely available in big trucks through 1966, although they went away in cars in 65. Now, do we have a 409 in this one here? It's possible. It's a C60. It's heavy enough. They didn't put the 409s in half tons or three quarters. They had to be big, big trucks like this one. Let's drum the, just roll that drum, drum that roll, or give that drum roll, whatever you want to call it. And Okay, well, yeah, this is a 1962. So this is the Chevy Stove Bolt 6 in its final year. Now we know this engine also powered the Corvette, believe it or not, but this one is a 261 cubic inch version of the Stove Bolt 6. And why do they call it the Stove Bolt? We look here on the passenger side, and we see on the side, this is the access plate right here for the lifters to set, uh, to access the, the lifters. And the cover on that side has these little flat pan head bolts right there also known as stove bolts, and believe it or not, that is where the stove bolt six got its name. And this engine first came along around 1937. And uh, in fact, 1929 was the first year for Chevy overhead, uh, uh, overhead valve pushrod six. But again, the stove bolt six commonly seen in mid 50s Chevys and right up till 1962 in trucks. Now 63, the 292 would replace this. And again, we see here an a generator, which means, yes, 1962. 63, the alternator would replace that. So this truck must have been pretty slow in its day, again, with that 261 cubic inch inline six. Now this is a Chevrolet, and the fact that it has uh, two headlights tells us it's a 60, two, three, four, five, or six. Uh, 60 and 61 had four headlights on the Chevy pickups and trucks like this one. Uh, but again, something that may, lets us know for sure, it's a 60 through 62 are the torsion bar front suspension items. Check this out. Now we, we know that 1960, 61, and two Chevy pickup trucks, two wheel drives had torsion bar front suspension. It's true. Well, so too did all Chevy trucks all the way up to the C80. This is torsion bar suspension. Here's this torsion bar right here anchored at the back and it twists with the upper control arm. Now this is a forging right here, heavy duty stuff. Here are the kingpins right here, big drum brake. But again, torsion bars were used on all 1960 through 62 Chevy two wheel drive trucks all the way up to the C80 Spartan, which had a uh, 80,000 or 9,000 pound GVW. The beauty of the torsion bar suspension theoretically was that it was lighter uh, than a beam axle and leaf springs. It was also had less turning friction uh, and gave a better ride. But the downside was that it was easily knocked out of alignment and truck drivers and trucking companies didn't like trucks that wore out tires. And that was one of the problems. The alignment on these things was easily disturbed, especially on dump trucks. And yes, you could actually get a C C80 Spartan uh, dump truck with this independent suspension, which, you know, first time you took it off-road into a gravel pit and bounced around, you probably had it out of alignment. So 1962 was the year that Chevrolet kind of cried uncle, and they offered an available leaf spring beam axle as an alternate to this torsion bar deal. In 1963, this was gone. And in fact, on Chevy pickup trucks, the torsion bar was also gone. They went to coil springs uh, on the uh, Chevy pickup trucks up front for the light duty trucks. And of course, the beam axle on big stuff like this. So this is, uh, again, it's a this one is a 1962. And uh, next to last year for the wraparound windshield, which was 60 through 63, 1964, more flat windshield. In fact, the pickup truck cab and this are pretty much identical. The hood is almost identical to the pickup truck stuff. Inside, well, you know, it's a gas burner. Here's the gas tank behind the seat in the cab. The filler's right here, just like a pickup truck. Uh, not the safest thing on the world, but again, this is, uh, you know, it's a work truck and the uh, instrument cluster is gone. This would have had a four-speed or maybe a five-speed manual transmission. And uh, this one has pretty well been ravaged by rust. And if you want to see world-class rust come to Massachusetts, look at the A-pillar right here. The uh, gauge of the metal was 
cooked through by uh, corrosive action right here down to paper thin and basically the roof collapsed on itself. In fact, the skin of the roof is long gone. So the junkyard is kind of a classroom. It gives us a nice opportunity to look at the x-ray vision or the view inside of the double roof construction of the Chevy cab. Of course, the outer skin would have come up here. It's been sliced away. This is the inner skin right here. In fact, this surface right here is what you'd see looking up at the headliner, this ribs from up inside. And again, this is uh, the curved glass on this one here was used uh, 60 through 63. Um, so yeah, these cabs, these trucks, interesting stuff. But again, torsion bar front suspension on 9,000 GBW pound trucks. Now keep in mind that these trucks were available in C10 through C40 as the Apache and the C50 through C60 as the Viking and the big dogs. The C70 and C80s were called Spartans. Now this one here being a C60 would have been a Viking and uh, the top of the top of the range again C50 and C60 were the Viking, the two of them. Uh, this one could have been had with a 409 or a 348 but this one has the basic uh, 261 cubic inch uh, stove bolts so 1962, final year for torsion bars, final year for the 261. Um, but something kind of cool about this one here is the oil delivery uh, body on this one. To see this, check out the next video. Uh, we'll have that in a couple of minutes or well tomorrow, depending on how you're watching this and when you're watching it. But always be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel to see more from Bernie Sinatra.